Welcome to Performance Reps Northwest 2021 webinar series. We're excited for today's webinar. Eric Curtains for Food Service featuring Burner. I go ahead and introduce today Dan Griffin. He is our speaker. Dan is a Western Regional Sales Manager for Burner. All right, Dan, take it over. Thanks, Janelle. Um, welcome, everyone. Thank you again. My name is Dan Griffin. I'm our Western Regional Manager for Burner Air Curtains. I'm located in Sacramento. Um, Burner itself, our, our manufacturing headquarters, is in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. And that's a look at our factory and some of our national accounts that we that we work. So a little, and what we want to do today, give you a little bit of a background on Burner itself as a company, and then get into kind of Air Curtains 101, and then some more product specific things. And then we'll have quite a Q&A at the end. So, you know, Burner has been around since 1956. Uh, we we're actually the first company to start producing air curtains in the US. So our founding father, Erling Burner, brought the technology over from Europe back in the 1950s, and we've been manufacturing them in the, in the Pittsburgh area ever since. The Burner family is still very much involved in the business. So um, Miranda Burner, some of you might know, is the head of our marketing, and her siblings and her mother sit on our board of directors. So it's a great family company. Everything's still made in the USA. We pride ourselves on having high quality products. We're not always going to be the cheapest, um, but, but we stand behind our products. They're dependable. Um, and we've been around for a long time. Great tech support uh, and, and great customer service. And we really are an uh, innovation and industry leader. You know, we've We've really focused in the last decade or so on the design aspect of an air curtain because a lot of times, you know, air curtains are kind of clunky looking, commercial looking. But as we, as we get more into the retail and front of house for um, restaurants and, and grocery stores and that sort of thing, um, designers and architects, engineers, they wanted something that was more aesthetically pleasing. So we're going to talk a little bit today about our new architectural elite series that addresses that. And then we also last year introduced a new pure air package, which helps uh, improve indoor air quality in the space. We also are a leader in terms of technology and controls. Burner air curtains are the only ones that you can download a, a, an app and control your air curtain with a smartphone. We're the first and only one in the industry that has that. Um, we now have back neck capability um, and a number of other uh, smart controls that can be used. Our website is very user friendly. If you've been on there, it's burner.com. We have an air curtain selector on there if you're not sure what air curtain to recommend. Uh, we also have an energy savings calculator so you can uh, help determine how much uh, money an air curtain can save you over time and what your payback period might be. And then we also have engineering expertise. So, you know, so, sometimes you run into cold storage applications, or custom uh, installations, different unique applications. And Burner's really good about taking a look at every different application and saying, yes, an air curtain will be beneficial in this situation, or no, it's not beneficial, and we don't want to sell you an air curtain if it's going to make the situation worse. So, we look at each case individually. Um, and that's where you can come to myself or to your, uh, your rep with performance and, and get that kind of feedback. So let's talk a little bit about what an air curtain is and how it works. Uh, most of you are familiar with this, right? It's, it's you know, a cabinet with fans and motors in there. Um, it, it draws the air in either through the front of the air curtain or sometimes on the top, it speeds that up and, and, and then expels it out the back toward the ground. And the important thing is the airstream needs to be strong enough to reach the ground and create this split. And this split is what creates the barrier between the inside and the outside. So you're gonna get about 80% of that 
um, split goes back towards the side where the air curtain is installed and 20% goes out the other way. So an air curtain is always gonna be more effective when it's installed inside the building. But we do have air curtains that are rated for outdoor. Our sanitation series, as some of you may have used in the past, can be installed outdoors. Um, but, but to provide the best protection for the indoor space in terms of flying insects, dust, uh, cold or hot air, um, fumes from cars, it's best to be installed uh, on the inside of the building. So what are some of the benefits? First and foremost, an air curtain provides energy savings. You know, um, up in the Pacific Northwest, you know, you don't get the really cold climates that, you know, we get up in Canada or where I'm from originally in Wisconsin, um, where, where they're really useful in the winter. But you do get a lot of the, you know, the heat and humidity in the summer and they have, you know, the same sort of effectiveness um, at keeping the hot air out. Um, and keeping your cool air inside so it allows your air conditioning to run less often, your heat to run less often um, in the winter time. It's also great for employee comfort. You know, if you think about a Walmart and the greeter at the front door, you know, um, an air curtain keeps the cold air out, the breezes out, so it makes it much more comfortable uh, working around that door. Um, in our world, specifically in, in food service here, um, you know, it's, it meets various health codes. In California, for instance, every restaurant needs to have an air curtain on their back door, their service entry door. And again, that's usually where you have your, your dumpsters, and garbage and things. So you have a lot of flying insects out there and you wanna make sure they're not uh, able to enter the kitchen as you're bringing in food delivery. So they're very beneficial for that. And then they increase productivity as well. So if you think about a, a warehouse application, you know you can keep that that big uh, door open as you're running trucks or forklifts in and out. It's a you know it's a nice clear view instead of using strip curtains, um, which you know uh, can be different touch points that that people um, are leery of right now. And then also you know. If, if driving through strip curtains, you get a lot of damage. Air curtains are a nice, um, a nice easy barrier for inside and outdoors. And a little bit about when you're, when you're looking at a data sheet or a spec sheet for an air curtain, the, the three important things to pay attention to are the velocity, the volume, and the uniformity. So the velocity, that's the speed at which the air is moving. The volume is how much air in total is moving. And then the uniformity is the evenness of that stream of air across the air curve. So you want good uniformity, you know, 80, 80% 80 is, or, or more is pretty good. And the three of them work together to deliver that controlled stream of air to create that barrier. And, and this little diagram here, you can see this air curtain is installed on the inside of the building. You want it installed as close to the top of the door as possible. And and, and the back of the air curtain, the um, uh, you know the air stream, the, it, there's an adjustable um, panel back there. So you can adjust it out 20 degrees, in 20 degrees. Typically what you do is you, you uh, adjust it toward the outside of the building at about a 20 degree angle. And that gets you your split right outside the threshold of the door. And that's what gives you the, the best protection. And so another thing you'll notice on the data sheets are different certifications. So, you know, all of our products, of course, are UL listed. Some are UL listed for outdoor use. Um, some are this NSF, certified so that's your national sanitation foundation so those are the ones that you're using at at your restaurants um, you'll see that on our sanitation series and then another important one to pay attention to is this AMCA certification so AMCA is the air movement and control association it's a third party independent testing agency that will verify performance of air curtains will measure that the volume, um, the velocity, and the uniformity of your air curtain. 
um, by a third party. So you can have peace of mind knowing that um, this air curtain has been certified. It's not just the manufacturer telling you um, what their own testing data is. So Werner has more AMCA certified air curtains than any other manufacturer. And so why is that important? Um, it's important when we start getting into various codes. So some of you may be familiar with ASHRAE 90.1. Um, this was a code that was inter adopted in 2019, and it allows for air curtains as a substitute for best fuels. So basically, the air curtain needs to be AMCA certified um, to, to meet this code. And then you need to have the velocity of the floor is 400 feet per minute. So ASHRAE has the code 90.1. It's also was adopted by the International Energy Conservation Code in 2015. And then before that, the International Green Construction Code in 2012. So again, this AMCA certification, you'll see that, that label on the, on the spec sheet itself. Now, how do you select an air curtain? Um, the best thing you can do is call up your sales rep. Uh, what they might, what um, you know, Tim or some of the other people might send you is, is this um, site survey, which will capture all the relevant information that we need to make a recommendation for you. The most important things on here really is how many doors are we protecting and what are the width and the height of those? Because that's going to determine, you know, the size of the air curtain itself and then how powerful it is. You know, if it's a seven foot uh, man door, if it's a 12 by 12 foot, you know, warehouse door, uh, we have different air curtains to meet those applications. Uh, another piece on here that's really important is what kind of voltage do we have available for that air curtain? You know, a lot, a lot of the sanitation uh, series are going to be uh, 120 single phase. Um, and then we can also add heat to some of the units as well. So if you'd like some supplemental heat, um, this is where you'd mark it down in the bottom right. And then we can pick out different air curtains based on the specific need. But really we need the width and the height of the door and what the voltage is. So what's new at Werner? You know, 2020 was a you know, crazy year for everyone. Uh, but we, we launched a lot of new products in that time. Uh, the, the first one here is the new Architectural Elite, which you can see on this picture here. It's a very clean looking piece. Um, it, you know, it's a wedge shaped design. As you're walking into the building, it disappears up into the space. There's no, the, there's no front air intake on it. It's a top air intake. And the reason for that is, you know, we work with different designers and ask them, what do you want to see in an air curtain? And they said, well, we don't want to see it. So what, what can you do to, to make it invisible? Of course, can't make it invisible because there's a lot of parts that go in there. But this was an, a nice design to help make it blend in well um, with interiors. So we kicked this off at ASHRAE show last year. So here's, here's another look at the two units. We have an AE08 and an AE10 in the burner nomenclature. When you see those, those numbers there, that's the height of the door that this air curtain can protect. So an AE08 is good for doors up to eight feet, and AE10 is good for doors up to 10 feet. Um, there's some really great features with this. Uh, some of you may be familiar with EC motors. Traditionally, uh, in air curtains and other fan markets, it, it's an AC motor, which is alternating current. The EC motor is electronically commutated motor. Um, they're much quieter, they're much more energy efficient, and they're intelligent. So you can do a lot of different things, for instance, with smart controls with these EC motors. Um, EC motors are not available throughout our line. Um, this is the one series where we have them available. It also comes with our IntelliSwitch, which is a digital controller. It offers 10 speeds. So you can really dial in the speed and the sound level that you want. Um, you can do it with uh, the Burner Air, which again is our app that you can use to control the air curtain so you don't have to get up on a ladder and, um, uh, and, and adjust things. 
The cabinet itself is a brushed stainless steel. Um, the, the bottom panel is clear satin anodized aluminum. Uh, but for, at Burner, we do uh, powder coating in-house so we can do any number of colors to match the interior or the frame of the door. Uh, we don't need to send it out to get colored um, um, by you know, painting manufacturers. We do it all in-house. So no matter what color you need, we can, we can match that. And it has a high efficiency, low noise, articulating Pro V nozzle. So again, that nozzle is what directs the air in the back of the air curtain. Um, and then it does include a filter because if you have that hot air intake, the dust tends to settle up there. So we include the, the filter with these units where typically it's an, it's an optional add-on. The other big product introduction that we that we introduced last year was our burner pure air package. So this is something that's been in the works for a while. Um, it wasn't, you know, just launched to to combat um, COVID and other airborne uh, viruses, but 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 it's um, it's a technology that's been around for many many years. We use needlepoint bipolar ionization. Um, the same technology that's used in the White House, on Air Force One, in hospitals, in schools. And, and what it does is it distributes positive and negative ions into the space. When the air curtain's running, those negative ions will attach to the viruses, pull the hydrogen out of them, and deactivate them. So it works on all, you know, all sorts of viruses. It's now been tested with, with COVID-19. It's 99% you know, effective against that. Um, so it's a really effective solution without using a UV light. Uh, you know, UV lights, you need to have the same air pass over that light eight or nine times to effectively clean it because the air is moving so quickly through an air curtain. So at Burner, we felt like uh, using needlepoint bipolar ionization was more effective technology to use in an air curtain. So this is available on two of our series, the Architectural High Performance 10 and our Commercial High Performance 10. Uh, we also include a uh, MERV-8 filter, which is on the front here. That's our pre-filter. And then your ionizer is right here behind the filter. And then, and then uh, you know, your motor and blower system is behind that and it's distributing the ions out the back of the air curtain uh, into the space. Now, on our architectural high performance series, that's you know that's our higher end series with the IntelliSwitch controller. The unit is designed so that anytime someone opens the door, the air curtain runs at high speed like it normally would. When the door closes, the air curtain will normally shut off, um, but in the pure air mode, it just it dials down to its lowest speed setting and continues to distribute the ions into the space. So it's constantly working to improve the indoor air quality. Um, as I said, uh, needlepoint bipolar ionization has been around for a long time. It's certified um, UL867 and UL2998 as an ozone and byproducts free technology. That's the other thing with UV lights, you know, they, they create ozone to you know, the light itself needs to be protected um, in the air curtains that is not getting distributed out into the space. You don't need to worry about any of that with NPVI. Um, some of the other technologies, you know, we talked about the smart app, um, the digital controller. So the app itself is available on any of our architectural series. You see that you see our different ones here. The architectural elite are the new ones we just talked about. The architectural low profile um, is a great workout and workforce. It's 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 a great price point. It's a low profile. It's only seven and a half inches tall. It's got ten speeds. Um, you know, just a great product. Um, you can also do the art. Architectural High Performance 10. And then we also have recessed units, which are the Architectural Recessed 12 and 16. So again, that's the Burner app. You can download it and control your air curtain. You can set different um, modes and schedules for it. So it's a really easy, intuitive way to control an air curtain. 
And again, it's exclusive to Verna. So what are some air curtain opportunities for the food service industry? Uh, there, there's a number of different applications you can think about um, for our world. So of course, back of the house, you know, your kitchen delivery entrances, we'll talk about walk-in coolers as well. You have your drive up windows or concession stands, the front of the house, and then the you know, growing part of our world, which is the dining, the patio, or any of the outdoor seating that restaurants are trying to um, bring into the equation. So for the back of the house, we have a number of different products available. So again, these are more your, your lower price point, not all the bells and whistles, um, but they meet code and they get the job done. So we start off the sanitation low profile seven and the high performance seven. Again, those are good for doors up to seven feet tall. Um, those are only available in ambient, uh, which is unheated, and single speeds. We move up into the commercial low profile eight and high performance 10. Well, now we have three speeds available on those. You can start to incorporate electric heat um, and any other sort of heat you might need. Um, so those are the step up models there. For bigger openings, we have what's called our industrial direct drive 12 and 14. So again, those are going to be your, your bigger, uh, taller doors. And then we'll talk more specifically about our drive through units as well. So this is where you see a lot of the applications. You know, this is our sanitation series. Again, it's best to install these indoors, because then you're getting that split at the floor. It's, it's pushing. 20% of that air to the outside. And that's really what's helping prevent the flying insects and fumes and things from coming into the kitchen area. Another important thing to keep in mind when you're ordering an air curtain is every air, every air curtain needs a door switch. So um, typically on the sanitation, these back of the house sort of application, we're gonna go with what's called the plunger door switch. So it's wired directly to the air curtain, as you can see here, and installed on the door frame uh, and the door itself. So this is what activates and deactivates the air curtain. Anytime the door is open, the plunger switch pops out, it activates the air curtain. Anytime the door is shut, um, the plunger switch is pushed um, back in and it deactivates the air curtain. So a very quick and easy way um, to, to put a door switch on an air curtain. Um, so this is just another look at the plungers, uh, the plunger door switches. You know, there's, um, we usually recommend this door mounting bracket. So you can mount the, the bracket or the switch itself directly to the frame. The bracket just makes it a little bit easier. It's a couple bucks. Um, it's, it's worth the cost. Uh, what a really nice, clean way to do it, and what we typically recommend on a front door, for instance, is what's called the magnetic reed. So this is in installed the same area on the door. You know, uh, half of it is on the door frame itself. The other half is on the door, and it's just a magnetic field. So anytime the door is open, that magnetic field is broken, and that's what activates the air curtain. Anytime the door is shut, the magnetic field reestablishes itself and turns off the air curtain. So a nice, clean, easy way to do it. You can see there's not big you know, um, conduit run into the air curtain. It's just run off low voltage with the transformer. Uh, air curtains uh, are also great for walk-in cooler applications. You, know, you think about how often employees have to go in and out of the, the coolers and freezers to grab food, leave the doors open, um, all that cold air is allowed to escape into the kitchen. So an air curtain is a great way to hold back the cold air into the fridge or freezer, it helps your compressor run less often, um, helps uh, prevent food spoilage. You know, food tends to get uh, warm for the front of the, the air curtain or, or in front of the freezer or cooler. So the air curtain helps um, prevent any issues you might have with that. We have a great flyer on our website that lays this out. Um, you know, the various apps, the various reasons why you want to use an air curtain, you know, help reduce waste, save energy. Um, you can meet some, some different codes. 
Um, it's the Energy Independence and Security Act of uh, 2007 addresses this. Um, and then there's a chart on the back side of this flyer. And there's a lot going on here, but basically the green line here is how often the compressor is running um, and with an air curtain. And the orange line is how often the compressor is running without the air curtain. So you can see without an air curtain, the compressor just runs all day. Uh, if you put an air curtain on there, the compressor is able to shut off various times during the day. And so that's how we provide energy savings. And uh, you know, from, from the various studies we've done in these applications, it saves you about 27% um, in this energy efficiency. So real nice, clean, easy way to do it. You know, um, you do an air curtain with magnetic reed switch because it, uh, you know, you don't want to be putting a big clunky plunger door switch on there. Um, they can sometimes be installed inside a cooler, um, but not a freezer because obviously everything would freeze up. But again, if you have a question with this, that's where, that's where you come to your sales rep or myself and we can make a recommendation. And if it's, you know, not... An air curtain isn't going to work for you. We're going to tell you that. We're not going to try to sell you one just, just to get a sale. So we're, we're very good about reviewing each application and making sure an air curtain is going to be beneficial for you. Oh, so we also have these great little compact drive-through units. Um, and this is becoming you know, more a bigger product category as restaurants are doing takeout windows. You know, it's not just these drive up windows. Oftentimes it's a regular size window that they've converted now to, to take out. Um, so you're going to see some new product introductions in this category. Um, but we've had this drive through unit available for a couple of years now, many years. Um, they can be installed outside um, for concession areas um, or indoors. They're, they come in two lengths, either 18 inches or 26 inches. They're only seven inches high and seven and three quarters inches deep. They're one speed motors. Um, there is a filter in there. Um, you can do them as unheated or heated, electric heated. So in a lot of the colder climates, it's nice to have the electric heat in there uh, for the employees comfort you know, work in there at the drive through. It, it really helps um, keep the cold out. Very easy to install. These brackets are adjustable. Um, um, so you can hang them any sort of which way. So that was the back of the house and the drive-through units. When we're talking about the front of the house, you know, uh, end users and customers are more concerned with aesthetics and quietness. So that's that's what these air curtains address. You know, the architectural elite we talked about those DC motors, really quiet. The rest of the architectural series here. They have the digital controller with 10 different speeds. So you can really dial it in um, to, the, to the amount of air you need and then the, the sound level as well. Um, custom colors available in all of these. Uh, another thing that Burner does is we ship all of our products fully assembled. So they're all tested at Burner before they're sent out. Sometimes if you're ordering a, a bigger unit uh, from other manufacturers, they're gonna ship you the cabinet on one pallet and the, the motors and blower wheels on another, on another pallet. And then it needs to be assembled at the job site. We put everything together, ship it on one pallet. So everything's ready to go for installation um, when it arrives at the job site. Couple of different um, looks at this. Again, this architectural low profile aid. This is this is my favorite air curtain that we have in our lineup. It's just it's such a workout course. It's a good price point. It's quiet. Um, it fits in almost every application. It's got the rounded front like you see on the bigger one here. So it's just it's a very very nice unit. And if you do it in custom colors, they just look fantastic. Um, on the right is the bigger unit, so that's the high performance 10, but the shape of them uh, is, is the same. Here's a look at one of our commercial units. So you can see the more traditional, um, you know, a, a triangular front to that, um, but it's in a black finish, so it ties in really well with the door frame. 
and you can see on the back here is um, you know some special brackets that we have um, you know for four for applications if you have a glass door like this. So any sort of application you have, we have a lot of different um, brackets, uh, wall brackets um, that are available for whatever the installation is. And then one of the growing categories here, of course, is the dining to patio solutions. The restaurants are trying to figure out how they can do some outdoor seating. Um, they need to leave the doors and the windows open, but they don't want to allow all the, you know, all the insects to be flying in um, to their kitchen area. So, we, you know, we've been doing this for many, many, many years. Um, and, and, and now, you know, as it's starting to expand, um, we're offering different product solutions for that as well. But you can see, you know, a typical application where the restaurant just wants to have uh, their, their doors open. You know, we can we can do air curtains installed up in, you know, on the inside here. As I mentioned, you do custom colors. You barely see these things. You don't even know they're there. Uh, we can also do them on the outside. You see a lot of these restaurants with the bar areas where people are seated outside. They open these windows. Um, the air curtains um, are a good application there. You know, I always caution people, you know, yes, air curtains move air, right? So if someone's sitting there, uh, you know, and you have these running at high speed, uh, you know, your customers may be uh, uncomfortable, but oftentimes an inspector is going to say, you need to have air curtains here. So you know, we have them available. We sell them all the time. Uh, just something to be a conversation to have um, with your restaurant owner about an air curtain in that application. This is a, a custom application we did for, I believe it was a Hilton Garden Inn in Virginia Beach. And you can see the air curtains up here um, uh, at the corner there. And we actually we custom made the end caps here so that they could be butted up right next to each other. So you get a full coverage for this, you know, 90 degree angle. So. Again, when I say, you know, burner with these custom applications, uh, we can do that. Um, and, and our engineers are very good at looking at the application saying, okay, here's, here's what we need to do. And they create a new drawing. Um, we send it, you know, we send it to you for sign off and then we can, we can build these products for you. So here's another look with some, you know, this gold color on it to, to match their outdoor applications, you know, for, Whenever we're transitioning from indoors to outdoors, um, you know, when you have them installed outdoors, you're only going to want to do in heated. We do single lengths up to 16 feet. Um, if you need anything wider than that, then we can tandem mount a couple of them together. And we do we do the custom color way as well. So it's a, you know, it's a big part of the restaurant industry moving forward. So a little summary here, you know, burner air curtains, again, we pride ourselves on a quality product. They're engineered to perform. They're built to last. They're easy to install, operate, and maintain. Um, you know, we have really good tech support on the back end. If there's ever any installation issues, sometimes, uh, you know, that IntelliSwitch takes a little bit of training um, to get it set up properly. So you call in our 1-800 number, you talk to our tech support, they'll walk you through the steps on that. Custom colors and stainless steel. Uh, we're very proud to be made in the US in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. And you know, by shipping our products fully assembled, it lowers your installation costs, it lowers your installation time, and everything is tested at the factory before it gets sent out. So that So that is the overview of burner and air curtains. It looks like we had a few questions that came in. So Janelle, do you wanna do you wanna dictate those to me and I'll see, see what I can come up with? Yes, I do. Okay, you talked a little bit um, about ionization versus UV. Can you you um, talk a little bit more to that and how much more effective is ion? I can't say that ionization than UV. Yeah, they're, so they're both effective at killing viruses. Um, the, the difference is with a UV light, 
because a typical air curve, you know, you're moving a couple hundred CFM, so the air is moving very quickly through there. So for a UV light to perform, you know, up to its 99% uh, capacity, the, the air needs to pass over that UV light, I think it's eight or nine times um, for it to de deactivate the virus. Um, that's what they call dwell time with UV lights. Um, with the needle point bipolar ionization, you know, you're actively sending positive and negative ions out into the space and those ions attach to viruses. So it's just, uh, it's a different mouse trap um, with an air curtain, uh, you know, because it's moving so much air so quickly, uh, you know, we focused on the needle point bipolar ionization and it's just, you know, it's a little piece, it's the size of a deck of cards. Um, so it's really easy to fit into an air curtain without disrupting the air flow. And you'll see, you know, that, that you know, it's not unique to air curtains, right? So there's, uh, uh, you, you'll see these different companies that have this technology available. We're doing a, a, a trade show in Charlotte here in June, and they just sent an email out to everyone saying, uh, in the convention center, we're using needlepoint bipolar ionization in the HVAC system. Um, so everyone can breathe easy, don't worry about it, that sort of thing. Not, not that. Uh, not that hard of line, but but you know they're using it in HVAC systems, and an air curtain is another natural place to, to use that technology. Great, thank you. Um, okay, let's see. We got a couple other questions here. So, can you talk a little bit about the difference from an air curtain mounted outside above a walk-in cooler door versus inside on the the side of a cooler door, and which is more effective? Yeah, so if it's a cooler, so it, it all comes back to that 80-20 split, right? So if it's a cooler door and you have it mounted on the outside uh, of the door, you're getting 20% of that air is going back into the cooler, right? So that's the warm air and humid air from your kitchen that's being put into the cooler. Um, if you Now, if you flip it around and you put the air curtain on the inside of the cooler, now you're now you're taking that cold air from the cooler um, and recirculating it within the cooler itself, and 20% of the cold air is going out into the kitchen. So that's the most effective way um, to use an air curtain in the cooler application. Now with the freezer, you can't put the air curtain inside because again, it's going to freeze all the components. It's not going to it's not going to work for very long. Um, so that's where you put it outside. You're still, you know, it's still more effective than nothing at all, right? If you just have the, the cooler freezer door open, that air uh, can escape very easily. Um, you get the infiltration from the outside air. So an air curtain is better than nothing. Um, it's best installed on the inside of the cooler um, where applicable. But again, that's where I say, you know, you come to your sales rep, you come to me, um, we, we get some data from you and we'll tell you, Yes, an air curtain uh, will work well in this application, or no, it will not. Okay, great. So, yeah, definitely utilize um, the reps, right, to ask those questions and help determine the best solution. Right. All right, next question. Is the peer air option on the architectural series found in AQ, or is it something we need to call burner for? I don't think we have it in auto quotes. Uh, I know we didn't initially. Um, so yeah, it would it'd be something you need to call us for. And it, it was, yeah. So yeah, you can call us and you can get it, but I don't believe it's an auto quote. Okay. Um, again, another opportunity to reach out to the reps and we'll help out. Um, Let's see here, another question. When specifying an air curtain over a walk-in door, should the air curtain be the same width as the door or extend a few inches over? Same width is fine. Um, that's, that's normally what we recommend. You can go over, um, but it's really, it's really not adding any benefit. So, um, you know, it's, and, and, and shorter, of course, you know, then, then it's not as effective. So, it, if it's as wide as the door, 
you know, you're getting an effective barrier and you're not paying for, you know, more material on the air curve. But wider, wider is fine. Okay. And then let's see, talk a little bit about noise level of the air curtains. You showed us the dining to patio area. Um, can you talk a little bit about the noise? Yeah, so they're all, they're all different, um, depending on, on what series we're talking about. On our data sheets, you will see the decibel levels on the bottom right of the first page. But I'll tell you, it's kind of a... Uh, Standards, you know, on the, on the new architectural elite, we're around 50, 55 decibels. You know, that's real quiet. Uh, it's about the, the same noise level as a conversation. Um, you know, some of those big industrial units, they get up around you know, 60 or 70 um, decibels. So that's going to be, those are going to be louder. So, yeah, it's definitely something you want to pay attention to, especially when you're going to have um, customers or diners around that area. So, it just depends on, on the series and what kind of motors that we're using in there. Okay, great. And that's where I assume that survey form that you mentioned in the beginning comes in helpful, right? Helping identify the right solution for the space. Exactly. So if we know, you know what type of application it is, that can tend to steer us into the product series. Um, you know, that will best fit that application, whether it's quietness, um, you know, uh, or you don't care about that. Now, an air curtain's always going to make some noise because you're moving a lot of air, you know, through that nozzle in the back. Um, but yeah, some are some are quieter than others. Okay, and you talked a little bit about sh uh, shipping and how burner ships the uh, the air curtain. Do you have any inventory on the West Coast? Yes, we do. So we we uh, have a warehouse in Phoenix where we stock, today we stock our sanitation series. So again, those are the ones at the back of the house, the restaurant. Um, we're also gonna be bringing in our commercial series, which is the step up unit. And then that architectural low profile eight, uh, which is the one I really like, which is, it, it just fits all sort of applications and it's quiet uh, and it's aesthetically pleasing. So we will have the three different series in stock in Arizona today is the sanitation. Okay, uh, another question for you. Um, what are, where are some areas where a school could benefit from the use of air curtains, like a K through 12? Yeah, that's interesting. So there's a couple different things to think about with schools. I have seen, you know, with their, with their kitchen um, on their delivery door, uh, it, it serves really well there. Sometimes uh, in gymnasiums, you know, where the, where the students are eating, they, uh, they like to open the doors um, to the outside. So uh, it's, it's effective to put them there uh, as well. So you don't get all the, you know, the bugs flying into the gymnasium. And another way to think about it too is, you know, if you're trying to purify the air within um, the school room itself, the classroom, you know, those architectural series um, are, are one, the, uh, you know, are, are ones that you could use over the, the, the door to the classroom with that pure air package. And they're really quiet. You know, you can run them on low speed and then they're just putting the ions into the space to help take care of any, um, you know, viruses or bacteria or mold or anything. Um, in that space. So there are a number, and, you know, and what it, what applies to schools applies to hospitals as well, right? So that's really um, some different markets that we're focusing on. Okay, great. Thank you for that information. Well, it looks like we've um, gotten to our, our closing time here. So, Dan, I want to thank you for your time today and for all the great information. And I want to thank everybody on the call for joining us today. Um, yeah, and if you have any questions about burner air curtains or need more information, please reach out to any one of us at the Performance Reps Northwest team, or you can email us at solutions at prnw.com.